Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part six. I thought part five was the last one. And then someone emailed me a question. Once they have this file drawn, can they not enlarge it or reduce it? And the answer is kind of yes and no. I went out to the shop and I did it. It does work. It does fit together. But you've got to think about, so the way you would reduce that would be to grab all this. So these are two inch by two inch blocks, a little bit more because of tabs. And if you go right here and go 75% and 75%, it makes this a one and a half inch block. But this was designed for eighth inch material. So you have reduced the thickness of the tab all the other tabs are going to work, the, the, the depth here, but this thickness has changed. If we grab the parallel dimension tool and measure that, now it's just 0 0.9, where this is 0 0.13. But it does go together. It would work. I wouldn't suggest doing that, and I don't know if you can see it in the picture of the, the boxes well, you can't see that. The boxes pass the tabs, and you can actually tell they're a little bit loose. This is really loose. I'm just going to throw it away, so I'm not going to glue it together or anything. It would work if you glued it together with rubber bands, and you carefully sanded all six sides and get it down to this level. It, you know, and you could even use a random orbital sander and just make sure you're flat on it. So the answer is yes, and the answer is no. Um, you could enlarge it maybe even easier because then the tabs are going to stick out and you could sand off the tabs. But when I did this in, from the previous videos, uh, the joints on the side are extremely uh, tight and needed no gluing. I could, uh, this one is not tight. Anyway, I hope that answered his question and, and, and thank you for watching.